A chunk of the over 20 million Lagos population suffer from varying forms of mental ailments such as mood disorders, anxiety and or depression. Now this is from the Lagos State Health Ministry. This challenge is the reason for the Lagos Mental Health Conference with theme responding to mental health needs of a 21st century mega city. The essence of this conference is happy to discuss how we can multiply these opportunities in such a way that people who live or travel to Lagos do not end in destitution, crime, drug abuse, mental illnesses, or sudden and avoidable deaths. What must we must develop a common strategy for responding and to and supporting people with mental infirmity. But there are people with anxiety disorders, depression disorders, there are children with attention deficit hyperactive disorder who have mental health issues but people don't see it as such. They just say this child is so troublesome, this child is always not listening or this woman is so quiet, why is she always crying? So in that case, when you look at the spectrum of mental health, yes, it is true, one in every four people has some form of mental health disorder. We problem from both angles. We are going to build a very strong prevention strategy, but on the other hand, those people that do need mental health, suicidal tendencies, anxiety, mood fluctuations, psychotic illnesses, they actually need help right now. Community health care, trauma care, increasing burden of substance abuse, postpartum depression and attempted suicides are all issues on the front burner that these professionals handle at this panel session. There's a lot that needs to be done in mental health worldwide, but in Nigeria we need a lot more to do. Um, in Lagos, population is increasing, but we don't have enough services available. So. Um, but the government and the private sector need to do more. The World Health Organization had in 2016 revealed that Nigeria has the highest suicide rate among African countries with over 17,000 lives lost to suicide as of 2016. Mary Chinda for Ibrahim TV.